And when we reach 1,000 subscribers, yay, we are going to go ahead and select the winner. So since we are right around the corner from that, I went ahead and decided today that I would go through my garden and start propagating some of my plants so that when we do reach it, they will already have grown a little bit and well established in their pots. So this is one of the plants that I'm going to go ahead and propagate. As you can see, there's some keikis that are on here and they have already started to grow. And so I have selected this plant in particular where I'm going to take some of those keikis off and then plant them in a pot. And they will be going to um, some of the winners in my giveaway. Yay, you! So anyways, while I was doing this, I went ahead and decided to give this plant a good once over and I wanted to show you something very unique and very special about this plant. It is something that is such a rare occurrence that it's never even talked about in the orchid kingdom because it barely exists. I mean, I found one article on this and I didn't even know if it was true or not because just because it's on the internet, just because it says that is true on the commercials, does not guarantee that it's true. So I kind of just, you know, threw it over my shoulder and just kind of wrote it off as something not true because I've never seen it. But folks, I want to show you something very, very crazy, very, very crazy. I'm going to go ahead and take you into this pot and ask you to look very closely and you tell me if you see anything awkward about the content of this pot I mean do you guys see anything anything unusual perhaps do ya do ya do ya okay well let me go ahead and show you and take a closer look then okay here we are folks do you notice that kind of white oval shape there there's one, and if we go ahead and turn this pot, there is, I can see one, two, and there's actually a third one, kind of still submerged into the medium. Okay, folks, this is something that is never talked about because it rarely happens. From time to time, and only certain orchids, the only one that I've read about and know about is King Guianums that actually does this. But out of, say, I think they said a thousand plants, an orchid will produce orchid eggs. Yeah, orchid eggs. Really, folks? Yeah, I didn't believe it either until I found some in mine. Okay, as you guys know, orchids are not easy to propagate through seed. And there's only rare ones that actually do propagate through seeds and your average grower can do it. There are certain ground orchids that you're capable of doing that with. But again, majority of times orchids really require a lab or somebody that's an expert in, um, you know, being a horticulturist or a studier of plants that can do that. And the only other way to propagate um, creating seedlings would be from these orchid eggs that you see before you and what will happen is these orchid eggs will actually implode much like spores or fungus and those thousands of little seeds will attach to different plants and they will begin to grow I know it sounds pretty crazy right well again this is a very rare occurrence and I can't even believe that I'm witnessing it myself it's so ridiculous so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these orchid eggs and I'm actually going to take you on a journey to show you exactly how it works. So I'm going to actually harvest these orchid eggs and I'm going to put this in a sanitized container so as to not get it uh, infected with anything and hopefully we'll get a chance to see exactly how this will implode and you will see the spores and everything come out and hopefully we'll be able to grow more of these kingianums. Okay, but before I do that, I wanted to tell you a little story about how I actually went to a garden center and um, there was this manager, oh my gosh, he wanted to argue with me about these orchids that I felt should be at a discounted rate. 
folks, I do not believe in buying any type of orchid that's not at tip top condition, especially if they are in horrific condition. I mean, the way I figure it, folks, is that I wouldn't buy anything broken at full price. So why would I buy a dying orchid? I mean, really, why? Makes no sense at all, right? So I show this guy this orchid that looks so horrific and I tell him that look this orchid's about to die and no one else is going to buy it. I'm willing to take a risk on this orchid if you're willing to give me a discounted rate. So he tells me no we don't give discounted rates and no you can't have it um, other than any price than the full price on there. So of course um, you know I wasn't too happy with that answer. And so I asked him, I said, look, I said, so you mean to tell me that you are absolutely willing to have, number one, your plant die, number two, have an unsatisfied customer for the simple fact that you don't want to sell that plant at a discounted rate? I mean, really, I mean, where's the customer service in that? So he tells me, look, if, you know, you can think whatever you want to think, and that's just the way it is, and I have no more time to discuss this issue with you. So what I proceeded to do, of course, I take my handy-dandy camera everywhere with me, and I took it out, and I said, well, I tell you what. I'm going to go ahead and take a picture of these horrific orchids that you are trying to sell, a customer that regularly frequents your store at full price and I'm going to tell them that's how you guys take care of your customer. So of course he begins to apologize all sorts of sorries left and right here there and everywhere and he tells me look I do apologize maybe I acted a little bit hastily and yes you can have it at the discounted rate that you wanted it and at that point folks it's no longer a matter of saving any money it's now the principle of it. So I tell him, no, thank you. It's a little bit too late for that. And I need your corporate office because I need to find out exactly how I can email these pictures to them so they know exactly what you're trying to do to your customers. And this guy, oh my gosh, this guy proceeds to get on his knees. I mean, it's like straight out of the movies. I'm like, really? Are you serious? In front of everybody, in front of your employees, right? Anyway, so he gets on his knees. Then he starts telling me about how he has a wife and how he has three kids and if he loses his job, you know, he can't support his family, you know, just on and on and on. And he's begging me and I already told him, no, it's too late. And I'm like, look, dude, get off your knees. You look pathetic right now. Just go ahead and give me the corporate office. So at that point, he grabs my leg, folks. He grabs my leg like really now you're putting your hands on me so he grabs my leg and he's begging and he's pleading and he's pulling at my leg and pulling at my leg you know much like I'm pulling at your legs about these orchid eggs <laughs> oh come on folks orchid eggs really orchid eggs I know you guys did not fall for that okay this is a late April's Fools guys um no this is not an orchid egg and folks i can't even believe i'm touching on this this is an actual real egg yeah i don't know what it is i mean it's kind of too big to be a bug or a spider so i'm thinking perhaps let's see perhaps it could be lizard eggs i mean that's all i'm thinking i have lizards like here there and everywhere in my garden so that's what i'm thinking so what I'm going to do, folks, is I'm going to get these eggs and I'm going to actually put them in a container and we're going to monitor these eggs and we're going to see exactly what these eggs are, these orchid eggs. Well, they were found in my orchid, right? I wasn't telling a tale. Come on. So guys, you let me know. What do you guys think this is? Hmm. Okay, folks, so you're going to have to stay tuned and we will find out what these orchid eggs will become. Dun -dun -dun -dun. And folks, I thank you again for tuning in to a wild and crazy adventure with me, Maria Young. And of course, stay tuned for more. Thank you for watching. Dun -dun -dun -dun. Stay tuned for the hatching of these orchid eggs. <laughs>